Mother's Sacrifice. In the bustling streets of Alekmere, Lagos State, Nigeria, Adinike's world was one of relentless toil and boundless love. Her husband, Ademide, had been the pillar of their small family until fate dealt a cruel hand the day their youngest, Adebola, was born. In a desperate rush to settle the hospital bills, Adimide's life was claimed by a speeding car, leaving Adenike to shoulder the weight of their world alone. Adenike's days were a blur of activity, from the crack of dawn to the stars claimed the sky, till the stars claimed the sky. With a heavy heart, if cooked food balanced on her head, she navigated the crowded streets, her voice rising above the din calling out to potential customers. Each sale was a step towards feeding her children, Adebisi, Adekola, and little Adebola, a step towards their education, a step towards keeping the promise she made to Ademide. Adebisi, now 12, had her father's keen mind and her mother's resilient heart. Adekola, 10, possessed a sharp wit and a tongue that danced with eloquence. And Adebola, the five-year-old miracle, was a bundle of joy with eyes that held the innocence of dawn. Adenike's, Adenike's love for them was an unbreakable chain, linking their hearts to the dreams their father had once nurtured. The journey was fraught with hardship. There were nights when Adenike's bones cried out for rest. Her spirit wavered, but her faith never did. She clung to it like a lifeline, praying for strength, for a sign that her sacrifices were not in vain. And in the laughter of her children, their curious eyes and hopeful smiles, she found her answer. Time marched on, and Andinike's unwavering dedication bore fruit. Adebisi, with a stethoscope around her neck, walked the halls of the University of Ibado as a medical student, her mother's sacrifice pulsing in every heartbeat she listened to. Adekola, with, law, with the law books under his arm, emerged from the University of Lagos, his voice now a beacon of justice, and Adebola, the child of destiny, flew across the oceans to the University of Saskatchewan, her path as a pharmacist lit by a scholarship and the silent wishes of a father she never knew. Adenike stood outside the gates of the universities, her hands no longer bearing food, but the harvest of her toil. Her children were her testament, her legacy, and the fulfillment of Adenike's dream through God's grace and her indomitable will she had steered their ship through stormy seas to the shores of success. As the sun set on a day of celebration, marking the culmination of years of struggle and triumph, Adinike's children, Adibisi, Adikola, and Adibola, gathered around her. With pride in their hearts and tears glistening on their cheeks, they sang a beautiful song for their mother. A song of gratitude and love. Who sat and watched my infant head when sleeping on my cradle bed and tears of sweet affection shared? My mother. Their voices, harmonious and full of emotion, rose into the evening air, wrapping Adenike in the melody of their appreciation. As they hugged each other tightly, the bond of their family felt stronger than ever, a testament to the sacrifices made and the love that held them together through it all. Morals The story, the story of Adenike imparts several valuable morals. Firstly, it emphasizes that resilience is a potent tool in conquering challenges, showcasing how Adenike's unwavering determination helped her overcome adversity. Secondly, it highlights that sacrifices made out of love and dedication yield fruitful outcomes, 
and seen in the growth and success of her children. Additionally, the narrative underscores the importance of maintaining faith and hope during difficult times as they serve as guiding lights towards a brighter future. Trivia time! One, what challenges did Adenike face after the death of her husband, Ademide, and how did she overcome them? Two, how did Adenike manage to provide for her children's education and basic needs through her work in Alekwere, Lagos State? Three, what were the dreams and aspirations of Adenike's children, Adebisi, Adekola, and Adebola, and how did they achieve them? Four, how did Adebola's opportunity to study at the University of Saskatchewan come about, and what role did it play and fulfilling her father's wishes. Five, reflect on the impact of Adenike's sacrifices on her children's futures and the lessons that can be learned from her dedication and resilience. Let me know in the comments section below and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.